In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to teach you how to take an old vanity and turn it into a glamorous desk. We'll use some do-it-yourself paint in petticoat pink, and I'll teach you some new techniques using a stencil. We'll use this amazing gold paint to bring all the glamour to this piece. We'll swap out the hardware to the drawer, and we'll add a beautiful decal. And lastly, I'll teach you how to upholster this bench. It's going to be gorgeous. Alright, so if you're ready, let's do this. One quick note, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I post new videos every week and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. If you remember last week, we did the vintage market, and this is one of the pieces that I took there. It was a gorgeous pink desk. Now, it did not always look this way. I originally got this off of Facebook Marketplace. It was a whole bedroom set for $80. I took the dresser from this set and I painted it white. I put applique on it. It just came out gorgeous. I have a video on this. I'll put a little link if you want to check that out. But the rest of the pieces I did nothing with for about a year. I bought this desk a long time ago. It is really scraped up and it needs some work. I've had it for like over a year and now it is the time to do it because we have the vintage market coming up. We're going to start by removing all the hardware here. When you remove the hardware, make sure that you put the screws together with the hardware. So you don't lose it. Once you're finished removing the hardware, you're going to want to sand your entire piece. You're going to sand the top, you're going to sand the drawers, you're going to sand everything. We're just trying to get some of that glossy finish off so that our paint will adhere well. So I'm just using a little of this crud cutter and we're just going to wipe all the dust off and just really clean up the piece so that it's ready for paint. See how much dust and debris there is? I'm just using one of my kids shop towels and that works out just fine. So I'm just going to finish cleaning this up so it's ready for paint. Now that we have everything cleaned up, we're going to use some of this DIY paint. It's really pretty. The color is called Petticoat Pink, and I cannot wait to use it on this piece. I bought this paint at Sweet and Sassy Treasures, and I'll leave a link in the description. Right now I'm just trying to cover everything the best I can. I know this is going to require two coats, but for right now we're just trying to do, you know, nice even strokes. And when it comes to the drawers, I never paint the inside unless they're really bad. I just mainly paint the top lip of the drawer and also the just a little bit of the side and I leave everything bare wood. It's not to say that you couldn't paint the inside. You totally could if you wanted to. It just, you know, depends on if you want to take the time to do that. Is it worth it for you to do that? Just, you know, kind of weigh out your options. I think this is turning out beautiful already. I can tell just by the drawers. Now 
Now, I don't paint all the way into the cabinet. I just do a little bit, you know, where the drawer will slide in, and I also do the sides. I don't normally do the whole inside of the cabinet unless it's extremely bad. See, if the whole cabinet had looked like that on the inside, I probably would have painted it, but it's just on the lip part where we were going to paint anyway, where the drawer slides in. So we're just going to do that. Now when it comes to these legs, I'm going to stop at a certain point and just paint only that much up with the pink paint because the bottom is going to be gold legs. It's going to be so gorgeous. Yeah, so we're just going to stop here with the pink paint. I think that's going to be perfect. If you get a little, you know, past that point, don't worry. You can always rub it off with your thumb as you've seen me do just a minute ago. Or you can take a rag and wipe it off. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm just trying to be careful, that's all. If you think that you're going to have trouble freehanding it, you could always use some blue painter's tape. You could tape it up and then just, you know, paint it and then pull the, the tape off. That would also work as well. See, you just want to do a little bit on the inside, just a little bit where the drawers go in. It's just giving it a nice finished look. Now when you're doing the top, I like to go just, you know, back and forth and keep that motion. I don't like to, you know, go one way or, you know, paint a little this way, that way. It's just all even strokes back and forth. So we're just gonna finish up the other side over here. Everything we've done so far looks really good. Again, it's definitely gonna need a second coat, but at least we have the majority of it covered and I think it's gonna turn out awesome. I'm just finishing up the sides on this piece. I did paint the back too, just to let you know. I didn't show that in film, but I did paint the back. So this is looking really good. I think this is a big improvement from what it did look like. We're just gonna let that dry and then we'll go on to a second coat. Okay, so we're gonna put a second coat on this. It definitely needs it. It's a little streaky. Second coat will be perfect. Okay, so we are gonna paint the legs. We're gonna use some of this Metallics, what is that? Pale Gold by Pink Couture. I got it for $14 at Sweet and Sassy Treasures. It looks like this. You really wanna mix it well. And let's go ahead and start painting some gold here. I mixed 
my brush, or I mixed it with this brush, so that's why I got a lot of paint. You probably don't want to use that much paint. I'm going to try to do this the best I can. How pretty is that? It just looks so gorgeous. We're gonna do the same thing on these legs as well. You would think that this paint is like translucent, but it really isn't. It covers so well. I really only needed to do one coat with this. You just want to take your time when you're doing the legs. There's no rush. You just want it to look good, so just take your time. After I got my line in there of the separation between the paints, then I brushed down. I think it looks better if you just go in one direction, so I brushed down on all of the legs. Look at this gorgeous finish. It looks so awesome. And if you accidentally get any on to the actual pink part, you can always just touch it up. No big deal. So you don't have to be exactly perfect, but you know, just be a little careful. Anyway, here it is. The gold on the legs are drying. We have it all in petticoat pink. I cannot wait to do the hardware. And I have a special little thing that we're going to do on the sides of the drawers to really take this over the top. Okay, let's work on the hardware first though. Okay, even though these are gold, these are really, really dark. We're just gonna use a little of our gold paint and we're gonna paint that on top of this hardware. I think that's just gonna brighten them up. It's gonna, you know, match really well with the legs. Um, I'm taping right now with one hand and I'm trying to paint with the other. It's kind of hard to do, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go back in and lift the handle and paint underneath there as well, so don't worry, I'm gonna finish these up really nice. I bought this knob at Hobby Lobby. I think this complements the piece so much better than that little knob that it came with. I'm just gonna hit this with a little gold paint just so it matches the rest of it. Okay, so we're gonna use this um, Jamie Ray Vintage stencil. Um, I really love this pattern here. I don't know if you can see it but we're gonna use it on the side of the drawers. I think that's gonna just make this piece over the top. So let's get this out of the wrapping and we'll start working on the drawers. Okay, so we're gonna need to just kinda touch this up with a little of the pink paint. And then we got a little bit on the side here. So I'm just gonna take a little sandpaper and get that off. And then I'll carefully touch that up. I'll come back and touch this up. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to stencil a drawer. We have our Jamie Ray Vintage stencil here. I'm going to go ahead and just line that up to where I want it. I think we'll just start right where it starts. I like that. I have some painter's tape. I'm gonna just tape that in place so that it doesn't shift on me and I don't have to worry about it. A little piece there. And then we'll put a little piece right here. And that way we don't have to worry about it. So I have my 
Petticoat Pink by um, DIY Paint. I have my stencil brush. Had my stencil brush, I should say. Nope, I got it, okay. Got that right here. And we're just gonna stencil this on. Okay, so let's do this. Just gonna dip my brush in a little bit of this paint. Let's stencil that on. making sure I got it all covered and then we'll peel it off and see what we got. All right, you ready? The moment of truth. Here we go. Peel it off. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna let that dry and then we'll go ahead and repeat that pattern over on this side as soon as it's dry. I think while that's drying, I'm just going to touch this up right here. Beautiful. And we got a little bit on the bottom here. Okay, I've given this a little time to dry. It still might be a little tacky wet, but that's all right. We're gonna put it, we're gonna overlap this like so. See the starting point here? If I overlap that like this, we can do our repeat pattern. I got that lined up. I'm just gonna tape that in place. Might have to actually just hold that down. Okay. Get my stencil brush. Hang on, guys, one second. Let's off and see what we got. Beautiful. So we'll let that dry as well. Now, look how beautiful that looks. It just gives it a more finished look and it makes this piece even more beautiful. We'll let that dry. We'll do the opposite side and then we'll finish up the drawers. Okay, you guys, our stenciling is all dry. I have some more over here. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna take some of these, well, they're my kids' shop towels, and I'm gonna use one of those with some Annie Sloan clear wax. We're going to use some Annie Sloan clear wax and we're just going to put that all over our stencil. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that and then we're just going to rub that on. That's going to seal this all in. And I'm going to do that with all the sides that we just did. I'm just going to put a some of that clear wax on here just to seal in all our stenciling. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the other one. We're gonna put some more of that Annie Sloan wax on the front too. So 
just want to wax that up. I have some of this gold vinyl and we're gonna do something really cool a little something special for this desk okay so I designed this thing that says hey beautiful on there because I think the desk is beautiful and whoever buys it is gonna be beautiful too <laughs> So this is what it looks like after it's all cut out. I'm just peeling this back to get rid of the excess vinyl. Just want to pull that up carefully so you're not pulling up any of your letters with it. I love this already. So I'm just going to continue to weed out the little pieces of vinyl that are still there, like in the E and the Y, and we're going to get this all done here. Before we put this on, however, we need to finish waxing the rest of this piece. Okay, so we're using Annie Sloan Clear Wax. I'm just going to put that all over the top. This is just going to seal and protect our piece. Okay, let's start putting the hardware back on. This is so exciting. We've gotten to this point. Remember, we put our screws in there always prevents it from uh, losing them. Okay, so we're gonna put that Hey Beautiful on here. I think that's gonna look so nice. Look at that, you guys. I think that just gives it a really nice touch, don't you? So first things first, it looks like the this seat is held on by screws. So we're just gonna simply unscrew this so we can get the top off.
pointy screws, I guess. Okay. Looks as if they have tacked these all down with tacks. So we'll take care of that in a minute. Let's turn this over and we'll clean it up and we'll paint it. Okay, so I have already sanded this and I wiped it down and I'm starting to paint it. We're doing that in that petticoat pink by do-it-yourself paint. And again, I'm only doing that pink up to a certain point on the legs because we're going to do the gold. Okay, so my camera kind of died when I was painting this, but we have the first coat on. It looks pretty good. We're going to paint the legs gold down here and gold right there. I'm going to put another coat on that, and then once that dries, we'll go on to gold. Okay, so all our pink is dry, and we're just going to paint the bottom of the legs and this gold. Again, we're using the metallics here, uh, Pale Gold by um, Paint Couture. Can you see how pretty that is? I love this. I would say this piece is like one of the most stunning pieces I've done. Okay, so see where this comes? We're gonna wanna just make a line. You could tape if you want. I'm just freehanding this. Okay, so I bought this beautiful faux rug from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on sale. I got it for like 70% off. So I think I only paid $4.99 for it. Anyway, that is going to make our seat cushion. We're going to take this old one off and we're going to replace it with this. Okay, so I think what I should do is probably cut this so it's a little more manageable. Okay, so right now I am just kind of making sure I have enough on each side so that I can staple it easily. Okay, so we're just gonna cut some of this off here. We still have a little too much, so I'm gonna need to cut a little off the sides as well. I was originally gonna take off the old fabric, but there's just so many tacks, I'm just gonna end up destroying it. So I'm gonna take the fur and just staple it over on top. You wanna fold in your corners and then hold that very taut and then put a staple right there, and that will start you off. And then you're just gonna keep working your way around the piece, stapling it in place. You're just gonna take your corners here. You're gonna fold that in, fold that in, and fold that in. take the bulk out of that. 
Gonna cut that off. Finish stapling this. Pull your corner in and kind of bunch these up there. A little too much bulk here. Let's take a little bit more of this off. Put this down, this over. That looks beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna attach that. We're gonna put that upside down on there. And then we're gonna screw in the old screws. where they're at. Although I got the screws in there, they were barely in there because the bulk of the fabric just made this a lot taller. So I went to Aiko and bought just like a quarter inch longer screws and that worked perfectly. I think this came out amazing. Again, this is one of the most stunning pieces that I've done. I absolutely love it. It's so glamorous. And in the end, when we took it to the vintage market, it was sold within about an hour. So that is how you turn an old vanity into a glamorous desk. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.